from Shane Warne. Magnificent piece of bowling from Warne. He's made a few batsmen look a bit foolish over the years, and there's no disgrace in Andrew Strauss looking a bit... So Maxwell, the new man of the crease. Oh, my goodness gracious me! What has happened there? I'm that stuck. is stunning. I'm speechless. Passed over to Grant Lambert. <laughs> Not the best leave I've ever seen. He's actually given himself that much room, he nearly fell over backwards. And I was just about to say, he hasn't been dismissed for the year. Well, we saw Grant Lambert throw his bat when he was trying to run. He may as well not have had one there. I'm not sure what he was... Just giving himself too much room. And probably not the best leave I've ever seen. Anyway, Sean Tate gets another wicket. His fourth wicket. And Grant Lambert's got to go. He goes... Couple of balls back. Oh, that's a total misjudgment there by Ian Bow. Balls just slid back off from a good area, nice and tight on off stump, and Ian Bow's misjudged that badly. Dreadful misjudgment. He's saying it's going to turn it so bad. Superb from Wagner. Was expecting the short one. He got into a position to let it go through. Off the pad, on to the stumps. Matthews and all sorts of attack, all sort of a tangle. He's expecting that short. Well, look at that. Both feet behind the popping crease. Brilliant from Wagner. And completely misjudged. That's the wicket we were talking about. Brendan McCullum will be delighted. Neil Wagner's delighted. was that that was the most amazing leave I've seen Michael Clark just smiled look at the amount of room he gives himself too far and in the end he couldn't reach it he didn't want to reach it I think he may just throw his bat at the ball or something but... What a blow. And what a shot. He must have totally just jibbed that. Look where his left foot went. He went to foot the other side of the line of the ball. I mean, quite unbelievable shot, that. watch this replay everything's exposed and uh, well it just went straight on perhaps turned a little bit and knocked the stumps over that is dreadful well it's what happens when the pressure's on whatever he was thinking he was obviously anticipating something along the lines of a proper leg break it wasn't that uh, it hardly offered to turn it went straight on rather nicely not Cork to Ejaz. Oh! What a delivery that is! Pakistan 12 for 2 now. Dominic Cork has struck in no uncertain terms. Well, that's quite extraordinary. Ejaz has gone right the way across and almost fallen over. 
maybe his studs got caught, but it's not the best time because the ball was homing in on middle stump as uh, Ejaz was hopelessly, hopelessly out of position. Dominic Court claims the wicket. Middle stump, cartwheels. And he